Hello my grooming friends. If you would like to see me groom a Bouvier de Flandre quick and easy, then I have the perfect video for you. Is it working smarter and not harder or just a fast way? If you are interested in saving time and effort, this is your video. Keep on watching. Today we have with us Freya. Freya is born in April 2022. It's a very fun bouvier, but it's, it's not very used to being groomed. It's only been groomed once and it doesn't really like the table very much. So Freya is a little fidgety, shall I say. Freya has, except from not being wanting to groom very much, a fantastic temperament. Freya likes to play in water, Freya likes eating very much, and Freya likes to play with a ball. Originally, the Bouvier de Flander is a breed, a Belgian breed, and she is actually a breed where I come from, from the Flanders. I live in the Flanders. And originally, this breed was bred for herding and driving cattle. Now, in our country, this breed is also known as Kuhont, and Kuhont in the translation of English is like a cow dog. So it's a very old breed and it's a very famous breed in my country, Belgium. If you have a bouvier or you are thinking about buying a bouvier puppy, please make it used to the table, to the bathing, to the brushing, to the dryer noise as soon as possible. That's like when the dog is three or four months old. If you are interested in any of the products I am using in this video, there's a link down below which takes you directly to our website. Or if you are living too far away from our country, I'm sure you will find a distributor in your country who has our brands. This video is divided in different chapters. Maybe you're not interested to see the washing or the clipping or the shaving, but you can just go down below and click on the chapter which is interesting for you to see and just click on it and you will see what you are interested in. Without any further delay, let's start grooming. So these are some mats here and I'm just going to show you on this kind of coat, a bouvier, how to easy. It's also a very old tool, um, but it's very easy to use. What we do is we, we, we put it in there and we like tease the under wool to let go of the skin. And you hear like me taking, I'm not putting the brush in and pulling the mats out. I'm like putting it in and taking it out again. And this, you will see the, the, like the under wool coming out. And then together with a mat buster, I'm also going to slowly tease. Also here, I'm not going to pull. I'm gently going to put the the pins in and also tease them out and together with these two tools we are teasing out all the mats. Here you see them loosening and eventually coming out. So we do a combination. We constantly use a little the Saint Roche uh, heart, uh, rake and then together with the mat buster we tease the mats out. Uh, it's very easy, but sometimes it can be very hard and therefore it's really necessary if you have a bouvier or if you have customers who have a bouvier or if you have puppies and you are selling puppy bouviers that you train your people or your customers or if you are just a bouvier owner, it's very necessary that you constantly brush and comb your bouvier thoroughly. Here you see me using this liquor brush 
the slicker brush after we are done with the central rake and the matte buster we can just go over with the slicker brush and take the rest of the mat out but I'm also showing the slicker brush because it's for sure not enough if you are using the slicker brush Sometimes if you are uh, like just a bouvier owner, you think you are going very deep down uh, with the slicker brush, but actually you are like brushing the top layer and sometimes the bottom layer, which is the wool, is like matted. So here you see us uh, creating, you know, all or making sure all the wool disappears with the centrosh rake. I never stay in the same position because if you stay pulling at the same position it might be uncomfortable for the dog and that's really not what we want. I also don't put the rake in there and pull. It's very very important that you put the rake in there and you gently take it back out. I also like to hold my hand here and hold the skin tight. So when we are pulling the mats out, we don't have that all the time and it's uh, easier for the dog to handle. Here I feel a mat and I hear it. And I'm also gonna like tease it out. So actually I'm taking the pins in and back out. And that's when you hear like the ticking noise, gently. A long time ago, a bouvier was actually stripped and hand stripped, but these days the bouvier have like a different coat. It's a much uh, longer, softer coat. Uh, the bouvier used to have a very thick, uh, rough coat, but now these days more and more bouviers have like a very long and more softer coat and I wouldn't even advise to strip that. I would really advise to like take all the wool out, all the soft coat out and then just like scissor the long coat. That's also what we do here in Europe at the dog shows. At the dog shows the bouviers are very 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 long ago. Uh, the bouviers were hand stripped because they had this very rough, uh, thick coat which didn't actually grow very much longer. But now these days, most of the bouviers have like this longer coat, and we don't really strip at the dog shows. We do take the under wool out, but uh, even the dogs that go on the at, to the dog shows, we don't uh, hand strip, but we really scissor it. Today, it's all about commercial grooming and we are going to use wonderful tools to make you see how fast we are going to groom. We are using the motors clipper with a 30 blade and the attachment combs. The attachment combs are the wide ones, so it's like a 50% gain in time and it's just a wonderful way to go quickly and easy. Uh, the length will always be very consistent and we will do most of the work before the bath and therefore after the bath we will actually not have so much work left. First of all, by doing that you will save time uh, bathing and drying all the coat which is gone is gone so you don't have to think about that anymore and after the bath we just go with again with the blades just like over the coat but you will see it won't take so long anymore uh, by using the white blades with the white attachment combs I love it because every stroke we do, instead of like that amount, we have like that amount and we have to do less strokes. So for me, it's uh, whatever saves me time and effort is good to use. Uh, as you can see here, I'm really going the direction of the coat and you see me doing that, but I'm not going to shave that way because if I shave like horizontal, I will have lines and it's very, very important. we use like the way the coat grows and we follow the, the growth of the coat with the blades and then we will never have lines and we will have a very easy job after the bath for scissoring. So this is a very commercial and quick way of grooming a bouvier. It's 
very easy. Just choose your desired length. And the only thing we need to do is go over the coat. And here you see me stuck because here we have forgot a little mat. And as you can see, the blades will not go through. It's normal if there is a mat, those long universal combs, they're like acting like a, like a comb. And the hair first like have to go through the coat very nicely. And as soon as you have a mat, it won't work. So if you are thinking about trying to have a matted dog and you want to have it still with some coat, it won't it ever work. The first thing you need to do is brush out everything until it's perfectly brushed out and then you can like easily use the attachment combs. Here as well, the tail, we don't want a lot of maintenance because now we are like speaking about a commercial groom. So we are like having everything the same length. So it's very easy if the hair is super brushed and super nicely dematted. It's the only way as well to do use these wide combs they can win you a lot of time and his ears as well so this is a bit tricky to do the ears but if you follow the outside of the ears uh, you won't ever have a problem. So start on the inside and just actually we are going on our own hands. We are like doing this and with the ear in between. Right, like this. And this is with a very long blade. Follow the outside on our hands and on our fingers. And this is what. It's a very strange thing I'm gonna say. If the hair is like standing stiff upwards because it's a bit dirty and it's a bit rough, then the blades will take the hair nicely and after the bath we won't even have to touch the ears very much. That's what I also used to do. Okay. And now I'm just going to do the rest of the neck. Let me show you with the 30. With the universal combs, always use the 30. Just put the, this lip in there. Close the clipper, put it on, clip it on until you hear it clipped on. And then with the back, with the two clips, just pull and put it back on and now voila just to show you it's like not matted but here is what's happening the combs are there and if you want to pull you can because it's not really matted, but actually it is a bit. And only this little bit is preventing the combs from going all the way through and, and, and actually cutting the hair off. So here you see why I couldn't go through it because there's still mats in here. Voila. He creates a lot of uh, sebum in his coat and as you can see here it's like a gray the coat color is gray this is because of the sebum and it feels like a little greasy uh, actually the bouvier needs this kind of sebum because it's supposed to be outside so after the bath you will see a more deeper black color and all the sebum will be disappeared Thank you.
now let's do some washing. We are preparing the bath with the Supreme shampoo and we are going to wash with the power bather. And the power bather is a very strong pump actually, which is sitting in the bottom of the bath and will make sure that we can wash very quickly, very efficiently without using a lot of our manpower, shall I say. Uh, one cap of shampoo is enough. I love washing with the super bather pump because you will save a lot of time, uh, you will save a lot of shampoo and you will also save a lot of water and not to say a lot of effort because the, the power bather is so strong the stream that comes out of the shower is like very powerful and because of that uh, because of the power you don't really need to like rub the dog very much because this is all going to happen through the pump uh, we don't do that very much on the dog his head because you know we don't want to be making it uncomfortable for the dog so we still wash the head of the dog with our hands so here you see me preparing the shampoo and we also always first put the water in and then the supreme shampoo let's do some washing we have Tace with us who is going to help us to wash it for you. The Showtech Plus Supreme Shampoo is a very wonderful, deep cleaning, all-round shampoo with an amazing smell. He smells of hamam and it's just a very nice shampoo to work with. And here you see us preparing the Showtech Plus Brightening Shampoo. The Brightening Shampoo has been my favorite for a very long time. It's a very good shampoo. Like the shampoo itself says, it's for brightening the coat. The, the Super Power Bather Pro will do all the work for you. It's very easy. Just have to put water in the bathtub, put the pump in there and the pump will actually recircle the water and the shampoo with a lot of power on the dog's skin and coat and the, the, the stream is so powerful it washes thoroughly very deep down the coat until the skin. The head we are still washing with our hands and on the traditional way. We always wash the head last of all and rinse first of all that way we are sure there's no shampoo in the eyes and it can't sting the dogs now we will give uh, freya a nice conditioner and this will create like a fast drying it will create easy maintenance it will create some food for the coat, some food for the skin and it's going to be well diluted. As you can see, we are also using the power bather to put the conditioner on. And now let's do some drying. Here you see Tace using the microfiber towel. We like using the microfiber towels because they like absorb much better the water. And here you see Tace using the blaster. The blaster is good because it like throws all the water out of the coat very quickly and then together with the stand dryer we will dry the coat. Now you see Kitty Ponnet helping us to do the drying. We're actually using the Yento Mega Pin Tangle Teaser which is a very good slicker brush with the long pins and the warm air you can easily like pull out the hair and it will create a very nice finish 
and all the hairs will be nice straightened. And now let's do again some clipping. We have the blade on there, the attachment combs, and we are just gonna be very fast now and just go for the last time over the coat to create a fantastic finish. So actually, we will be very easy. We won't be scissoring very much. We will just, after we've gone again with the attachment coats through the coat, we just then have to like with a comb, like lift slightly the coat and then the points which are sticking out, we will scissor, but actually we won't do very much scissoring at all. We are just following the part, we are following the skin. You don't actually see how long the coat still is, but it's about like three fingers long and it's just a very nice length for commercial grooming. So here I'm trying to groom the head and uh, on the back of the head I have the neck so I'm trying to do that in one line so it's natural here it's very important to start combing and clipping and combing and clipping and combing and clipping until all the hairs which sticking out are gone. So now we, you see me using the chunker. This is the cobra chunker I'm using there. And the cobra chunker is a very strong uh, chunker, um, but it's actually advisable for finishing because here uh, with uh, Freya, uh, all the hard work has been done with the attachment combs. And here we can just use the Cobra Chunker uh, to finish and to make every hair which is sticking out nice and scissored and neat. Here you see me using the Yento Sparkle Series Curved. And this is a very nice scissor for smaller work like ears and feet and it's very easy, it's very light, but extremely sharp. So here, as you can see with my thumb, I'm always holding the ear's lather. You just feel where the ear ends and I'm not taking any risk and going too short there. Here you see me like throwing all the hairs backwards and like going around and then throwing the hair at the front again and here at the eyes I'm just going to create a kind of a V it's not a schnauzer but since it's commercial I'm like going quite short shorter than if I would do a movie for a show clip much shorter actually Here at the side, I'm just creating, I'm just like scissoring more coat off until I will like see the eyes clearly. Here we go. And now we see some eyes. And here we are creating like on top of the head a flat area which we clipped before, but I'm like combing it uh, to the front and then going over with the scissors so it's really a natural looking flat area. And here I'm trying to get the coat along side of the nose quite short because also here at the front Freya was quite matted and to make the maintenance quite easy, we don't want to have the beard very, very long. So here we are trying to make it as short as possible. Also the front where the chin is, 
this hair is short. I really didn't scissor the hair short. Actually, Freya's owner scissors this very short, so I'm stuck here with uh, the beard which is gone. And I can imagine if you have a bouvier in the house uh, that when a bouvier drinks and he has a long beard, it can be very messy in the house. And that's probably why the owner has scissored off its beard. So now I'm just going around to make it as neat as possible or as even as possible to sh not show that the beard was actually so short. So you can scissor freehand without any problems. You can comb the hair in any direction you want to have a better finish or just to finish like there's a bit sticking out here, a bit sticking out there. It's also, the coat is a bit wavy and since this is a very young dog, he's very fiddly. So I would certainly not use a straight scissor on him. There's not a lot of work to do here, but I don't want to finish like these things here sticking out. And as you can see, I'm using a, a curved scissor, a slightly curved comb, which makes it easier because you can grab more hair. Just slightly lift the hair up and just take out the point. And this way you can create a better finish. So here I'm constantly switching by using the scissors and my free hand and I can comb the coat in all kind of direction to do that. So here I'm liking making this curve, so I'm like switching the scissor on the other direction. So I'm trying to make this area uh, flat, so you see the shoulders from the sides coming out. So as you can see, I'm going quite deep with the scissors. You do this with a straight scissor, a thinning scissor, or a chunker, it's actually the same. It's whatever works at that moment or with the coat that you have. Here I'm just taking off the points and you saw me just putting like scissoring the front of the foot and then going around and round. And actually when you see the front legs from the side you like make it as straight as possible. So it's a straight line. So here you see that we are trying to make the legs as straight as possible. And sometimes it's necessary to lift up the other leg and sometimes it's not. But uh, we just have to make it as round as possible, the legs that they are nice equally. And here you see me using the Fanatic scissor 18 centimeters straight. This is a very strong scissor and it's very, very smooth as well, so you can open and close it very nicely.
here you see me lifting the front leg and I'm just following it, Freya's chest to have it a nice one neat line. And here you see me using the quick fix spray. I'm using the quick fix spray to like spray and comb and then I see exactly where to scissor so I'm using the quick fix spray as a scissoring spray. Because I use the quick fix spray I can see like the points very well where I need to finish up and do some finishing. And here, this is really now the end of this part where I'm like trying to finish a little bit where there's still like little hairs sticking out. And therefore, I'm like combing in different directions. And Freya is really not working with us here. Freya just wants to go, go and play outside and says, why am I standing on this table? But yeah. And here I'm using the Cobra blending scissor curved which is very nice to use on a round body like Freya has to do the finishing. And here you see me doing the scissor on comb technique. With a curved comb, the feather light comb from Showtech and the Cobra 18 centimeter curved blender. And here from close up, again, you see the kind of finish I am trying to put on Freya. And here again, I'm lifting up the front leg to finish the chest. And actually, I'm following like from the chest, from the front all the way to the back to have one smooth line. Last finishing on the body. And also a little bit more Freya's back. So here you see me using the four on the back of the tail. It will help us to create a neater finish at the tail because the back of the tail can be really short and then you can do the finishing better. And also under the tail, the bottom actually, when this is all very hairy and you know, a lot of work to scissor, we just use the four to make this area like short and neat and then it will also be very nice. Here you see me finishing the back legs and I'm just constantly combing and scissoring around the feet here. And here you see me finishing the other side of the back legs. I've just combed everything down and I'm going around the feet to make the feet as round as possible. Just combing and scissoring and combing and scissoring until it's all neat. And I'm using uh, not a blender because the hair, as you can see, is not very thick. And it also, when I lift it, it stays like lifted. It's nice and 
fluffy and it doesn't really fall down so it's quite easy to do it with a straight scissor and if it's not working with a straight scissor with a chunker. As you can see here I changed to the chunker. Some parts is better with a chunker, some parts is better with the straight scissor. It's all depending how you feel and how the coat is. Sometimes it's easier with the straight scissor and sometimes you prefer doing things with a chunker and that's totally okay, whatever is better at that moment. Here I'm lifting Freya's right leg so she stands still because Freya is like very fed up with the grooming now so that's why I was lifting her right leg. And here you see Freya's bum, it's not sh really very too short but there's also no, not much hair left. That is asking a lot of maintenance or a lot of brushing or combing or washing even. It's all quite short. And here I'm just scissoring the point of the tail. and the back of the point of the tail and scissoring again and combing and just going over the tail with the scissors and the comb until nothing more is sticking out. And here you see the result and here you see the before and the after pictures of Freya the Bouvier. As you can see, there's quite a big difference in Freya's appearance. I've been grooming since 1980. I still love grooming very much. Um, I'm never claiming I'm the best groomer, but I do have a lot of experience and the way I groom has always helped me very much and I hope it will also help you to groom better and faster. Remember, there is always room for growing and improvement. So keep on learning and never give up to improve yourselves. And finally, if you have any questions, don't ever hesitate to contact us. We're always ready to help you. This was Kitty for Kitty Toad's Dogs. Thank you for watching and see you next time.